Hey everybody, I wanted to give a little update to my uh, previous video. I uh, suggested in the previous video all you had to do is change line AFO over to zero zero and you would have uh, functionality of the TAC with the FX4 uh, gauge cluster and you do. Uh, the problem that I discovered after taking it on the freeway was that the speedometer is off by about 15 miles an hour and the tack actually shows the engine going slower than it really is and that had to do with using the uh, XL's uh, software and the FX4's gauge cluster so to fix that what I did was I took the uh, FX4 gauge clusters uh, software and I came down to the very bottom of the EEPROM file and starting at line F10 all the way to the bottom if you take that and then and here's the one out of the XL so this is where they store the mileage in the EEPROM and this one here the XL contains the mileage that's actually on my car and this information is whatever mileage was on the cluster from the vehicle my cluster came from. So what I did to fix the cluster to work in my truck is I took the original FX4 software, I replaced from F10 down with mine, my F10 down, so that this data then was over in here. And by doing so, that got my accurate mileage onto the FX cluster. Now, the cluster still aired out. So you come up here to those original lines I, I talked of before. And here's that bit we changed last time. You see how on the FX4, it's already zero, zero, because it has a tack. And on the LX, it's zero, two. Well, if you want the temperature and the, and the compass part to go away, those are these two bits down here. I discovered a little more poking around. And on the FX4, it's A6 and C1. And on the XL, it's O6 and 42. So all you do is you leave the zero zero in, the, in this one as is, and you replace the A6 with O6, and C1, excuse me, 06, not O, 06, and then you replace C1 with 42, as you see over here. And then what will happen is your little LCD won't show null data anymore, and you also won't have the errors that keep it from, from your dome light working and your air conditioning, short cycling, and all that. Now, as for the rest of the FX4 code, anything in red is different from the XL. And I haven't dove in any deeper to find out what certain things do. I've tried moving around stuff, and I haven't been able to make a lot of difference in what I see in the output on the gauges. I'm sure, I'm sure it does a lot, but... Uh, what I did is I just used the FX4 code from there on up, and that seemed to correct the discrepancy with the actual miles per hour and the, uh, and the RPM.